Hello guys and welcome back to another video of me that Indian guy. In today's video I answer the question I get all the time. How can a middle class Indian student afford to go and study abroad in the US for their undergraduate education? Once again I want to thank Yakit for making this video possible. Now if you go on Google and just look at the average tuition for undergraduate students in a US university, the answer for international students is more than $30,000 a year. So the question is, how can middle class students afford a college fee of more than 20 lakh per year? So this number 20 lakh per year or $30,000 by year is a thing which US universities call sticker price. Now this is the price of the education that they put on their website. Now this is the price that you would pay without any scholarship or financial aid if you're paying 100% out of, out of your pocket. But the good news is, there are a lot of opportunities even for international students to get scholarships and financial aid. So hardly anyone ever ends up paying the sticker price. Your cost of education in the US is not 20 lakhs per year. If you choose the right university, it's going to be much less than that. So let's talk a little bit more about how is that even possible. So the first thing I want to make clear before I get into the how is that a lot of this is not going to be possible at some of the very famous colleges like NYU and UCLA. Now you may be a perfect fit for NYU when it comes to the location and courses. It's just the fact that NYU does not offer any scholarship and NYU actually costs even more. It costs almost 40-50 lakhs per year to attend. I just think there are so many more other options available in the US universities that may not be as prestigious as NYU they're offering scholarships to international students and believe it or not nobody except your relatives in India actually cares about the ranking and the prestige of your university so let it sink in for a moment the thing I just said right now is something that it carries on a lot of people's heart because they care about what is my uncle going to think about me attending a university that is not on the top 20 rank list but really once you go to the US as I've talked a lot in my other videos it all matters about what you can do and what you can achieve not the ranking of your university so if you are willing to get over the fact about the ranking of the university then you have many more universities that offer scholarships that you can apply and yes it is possible for international students who are from middle class families to study abroad in the US. Let's take the example of Texas. I've already made so many videos on this topic. In Texas if you get more than $1,000 per semester scholarship in a public university, which is very doable, you automatically qualify for in-state tuition. That is extra $20,000 in scholarship. So effectively, by getting even a small scholarship in a Texas university, you're reducing your fees by 15 lakh rupees and it's coming down to a much more affordable 5 lakh rupees. And that's not it. There are many other universities, like universities in Midwest where the cost of living is low and they're giving out scholarships and a lot of these universities actually even offer full scholarships even for international students. Now I'm not telling you that the search of this is going to be easy. In fact the search is going to be very hard because you are looking for those few universities that few programs that offer full scholarships for international students and you are going to fight with other international students to get the scholarship but if you have worked hard on your profile, if you're getting the right help, you're building your profile correctly, it is very much possible for a middle class family international student to get a full scholarship and attend university in the US. So a very simple way to do it is to Google the name of the university and just search inter uh, scholarships for international students like UT Dallas scholarship for international students, my university. And you would find out that UT Dallas offers a lot of partial scholarships for international students like the one I have which pays 85% of my tuition. Not just that, in the Midwest, one of my favorite universities, Ohio State University, which actually is a very prestigious university, also offers scholarship for international students. In fact, they even mention the average SAT scores and the profiles that they look for students who they offer the uh, scholarship to. So all this information is available on the internet. You just need to take a little bit of effort and do some research. So in my previous videos, I've already mentioned the numerous benefits of doing your undergrad in the US. Believe in yourself, you too can study abroad in the US. It is very much possible as long as you have the right resources. Alright guys, so right now I want to take a minute and thank our today's video sponsors, Yakit. Next to me, I have Sumit Jain, who is the co-founder of Yakit and just wanted to share a few words about Yakit. Thank you so much, Harsh, for giving us this opportunity. Uh, Yakit is one of the largest online platform for study abroad aspirants. We have been catering to students for master students since quite some time and more than 250,000 users have trusted us and it's time that we are now launching our undergrad section 
and we will soon be having a lot of tools to help you guys with your undergrad uh, preparation. We're going to be having college find a way. You can just put in your profile and see the probable universities you should be applying to. We're going to be adding a discussion platform which is already live. You could just go online, put up any question that you like, and we'll have experts to answer your question within no time. We're going to be having very regular webinars with some of the great university reps and to get you an insight into how your application is actually assessed and what you should be looking at. We also have uh, loan providers, lenders to help you with your financial needs during your, during your uh, undergrad process. So guys, please watch out your kit. Anything, any suggestion, you can always let us know. Thank you so much, yeah. Arshad. Thank you so much, Sumit. And once again, guys, all the information will be available in the description of the video. So here we are, guys, at the end of this video. Thank Thank you so much for watching this video if you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up and share it with all your friends who are facing the same dilemma that hey I'm a middle-class family student how do I study abroad in the US share this video with them so that they also know the right information and they know it's possible so guys once again thank you so much for watching this video I will see you in the next one